swamp stand. It's one of those mornings that a whitetail hunter dreams about. It's cold, high pressure, it's crisp, there's a blanket of snow on the landscape. I mean, like the goosebump, most anticipated type of environment you would want to be in, and there's a stud coming right toward us. Right here, big, big buck coming. I really don't have the words to even describe how I now feel about when I saw that arrow hit because I really thought I smoked him. It, it, when it first left the bow, I hit the deer within, I thought, several inches of, of where I wanted to hit and it's like it just bounced off this deer. Well, there's an epic fail of when the arrow hits a deer, but he's completely fine. We didn't get him. It was basically a glorified miss. He was walking away, quartering away, and I thought I, at first, my first gut instincts, I made a good shot, but I didn't. You know, sometimes we're not honest about hunting, but especially bow hunting. Um, I've always said that it can bring you to the highest of highs, but if you bow hunt a lot and when weird and strange things happen, whether it's just complete failure on your part or equipment failure, whatever it might be, it can also bring you to the lowest of lows. Turns out that a couple days later, uh, we get a picture of this buck. And he had about a 10 inch cut, uh, I mean, right where I was trying to hit him. And he was still out eating Big and Jay and running does. It was like a heaven scent that ended up, the devil said, nope, nope, I'm, on, I'm on, you're just gonna bounce off. This stand right here to me is the biggest blessing, but yet it's been the biggest curse on, on, my, on me. I mean, it's unbelievable. I mean, all morning, they were does, small bucks cruising through the swamp. It was just a magical morning. I mean, and literally we're about to get down and we look up and there's another giant that's pushing a doe. I mean, we're still in this thing. It's a different buck. She's coming, she's coming right to us. I mean, this is a done deal. I mean, we got his doe that he is pushing 10 yards broadside. He's leaving. He's leaving her. We got a grunt. Yeah, he's she's still going. How did that just happen? But no, no. No, he didn't come on in. No, he, he just walks off into the wild blue yonder into some weed patch that has no resources that would be good to him. All the love, all the opportunity to have fun and party was under my stand. Y'all can tell me better. Maybe I'm seeing things. 
but I am officially, this, this stand has been a blessing and a curse. I mean, it's literally like this area seems to be cursed, but blessed at the same time. Like the blessing is it's always magical. You see monsters, unbelievable things happen. And I've definitely had some surreal hunts in this place. The voodoo curse is mine. I don't know if I just experienced a dream or a nightmare. We kill a 135 inch eight pointer, he's laying dead. This buck runs over there. He's standing right here at 17 yards. You only get one tag in Kansas. Mine had already been filled up. I had a 170 inch deer come out, hit 10 yards, I didn't shoot him. And I just had it happen in Kansas. We'll ease up here, maybe we won't get attacked by a booner. We are in the bedroom. We are in absolutely, if there was an adult film videoed in the deer woods, we're sitting in the middle of the set. I've got to get out of here. I'm either in heaven or I could be in hell.